Yo, Yo Jeff's with Bacon, and welcome back to Legendary Adventures. My name is Eli, aka the Big Sauce Gamer Tag. And I'm Becky, aka Small Fry. So it has come down to the most important day of August, my birthday. I mean, I'm sorry. It is the most important part, which is the voting for the community day of September and October. Now, trainers, once again, Niantic has given us the opportunity to go ahead and vote for our favorite shiny Pokemon to go ahead and be for the community today. Now, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button, smash the notification bell, of course, so that you can be kept in the well-known of what's going on in the world of Pokemon. And well, Pokemon Go, Pokemon stuff, Pokemon, 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 <laughs> Pokemon. But with that said, maybe you wanna know, we don't, which shiny is the better one? Because Community Day has changed for the better actually over the last year because not only do we get to go ahead and have a Community Day, we get to go ahead and vote for Community Day, we get to go vote for the shiny, but it also means we're selecting the move that comes out with it. So now we're pretty much voting for two things in one. All right, now before we go over your candidates, ladies and gents, let's go ahead and, and cover the day of voting because that is important. So it's from August 22nd to August 23rd. You're For gonna, 24 hours. You're going to be able to vote via Twitter. Now, Pokemon Go is going to be casting a poll. So the candidate that receives the most votes will be September's Community Day. Mm -hmm. And the runner-up will be for October's Community Day. So this is your opportunity to go ahead and make that vote really count of who you want to lock it in to ensure it. So, of course, there's the crowd favorites. There's the Dark Horse. There's the, we all know is gonna end up being second. And then of course, you know, the one that everyone's gonna forget. So with that case, let's That's go so ahead. Sad. Let's go ahead and make our heavy cases for who we really want and who do you think is gonna win. All right? Okay. With that going off, let's go ahead and discuss the four candidates. Obviously, okay. we have the one and only Caterpie, no cowboy hat. Charmander. Bomber, Charmander, the crowd favorite. Then we have Porygon. Porygon, the nice new blue one. And then of course, Muck. <laughs> and Mock. Now, personal favorite of mine, because I definitely use him for PvP, but we won't dive into just that part yet. Let's go off with what we get for each one. All right. So first candidate we're gonna go ahead and discuss about is the wonderful Caterpie. Now, this little guy would have been much awesomer if he had gotten Cowboy Caterpie, which we are still gonna go ahead and be promoting for that on Twitter with the rest of y'all wonderful fans. <laughs> but with that said, it is a Pokemon that's already uh, found shiny in the wild. It does have three stages. It is a nice one in the it final really Butterfree is. format with the colored eyes, the wings. It, it's, uh, it's super pretty. But is it enough to go ahead and really get your bow? Let's first talk about the moveset. Butterfree will obtain Hurricane, the flying type move. Which will give it a good coverage base. What gets what? Fighting grass and bug type. Yeah. So, I mean, for that part, I'm a, I'm a bit excited. It, it does move it up a little bit higher. But the downside with that is that Butterfree would only be good for Great League, honestly. And probably a, a gym flex to go ahead and leave as a drop off. If you're a big Butterfree fan, if you're a big Metapod fan, a Caterpie fan, go ahead and cast your vote for that but for me it, it falls short just a tiny bit just a tiny bit. so going on to number two which may be in the running for first if not second i, I actually picture this guy winning second and this is going to be porygon now porygon is a beautiful blue shiny that does not exist in the game so this would be one that we we with the help of you guys would be unlocking for everyone to yeah, have brand new brand new yes. shiny so already that new shiny car smell, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so Tri-Attack being a new move to the whole entire game, it actually is a debuff, which is phenomenal. Because if you like playing like the tactician format, this is great. The, uh, what kind of debuff is it though? For attack and defense. Ooh. So now we don't know at this time whether it's like, you know, if it's a direct hit of 100% hit that it'll always be effective, the 50% or the 25% roll of it. But nonetheless, that does make it much more viable, especially yeah. with lock-on and all the other attacks that it has. Muy... Muy, muy, muy bueno. But again, because it, it is a, an evolution Pokemon, it is one that does require, you know, the upgrade to be used for it. And, and I refer to the upgrade item that you actually get. You know, this is going to be a great way to go ahead and utilize all those to like clear out some storage. It would be an awesome one. So yeah. it, I'm excited for it. Now let's talk about the next candidate. The, the one that, that the, the fans have been wanting, whether you've been playing for like since right now a few years or like always this is this is the crowd favorite okay yeah this is and by no means are we being like solicited to like vote for this guy but you know it's charmander you know it's it's stage one of evolution of this guy right here charmander 
shiny, beautiful, very hard to get. Many of you have already paid to go ahead and get this guy. <laughs> Many of you look for this guy in trades because you can't find him. And I get it. It's, it's a hard little sucker right. to come across if you haven't been playing from day one. So, what do we get with Charman? Okay, we're going to get Dragon Breath as the fast attack. fast attack. Now, this changes up Charizard. If it wasn't already a beast, he's going to be beasting against dragon type Pokemon with Dragon Breath. So. Now, now, this is a, big, uh, a very much push in the Mega Evolution format of what this attack can do. And I'm super excited for it. But at the same time, I have mixed feelings because Charizard's got a bunch of moves already. It, it makes it that much more difficult to go ahead and, and, and assess and counter, which is a good thing. But at the same time, it is a Pokemon that gets that favorite. But nonetheless... Man, what are you talking about? Okay, Charizard Dragon Breath is going to be so dope. Plus the other Community Day move for the second move. For yeah. the move and whatever you want to throw in there, however you want to play. But like, that's going to be a dope one to use. Very true, very true. We're talking about the final candidate. Grimer. I'll be, I'll be, I'll level with you guys. This is the adult move. This is the, the smart move to go ahead and do. And by no means am I talking bad of any of the Charmander or the Porygon or the Caterpie. But here is why. With any opportunity to go ahead and get Grimer, we're not only getting regular Grimer, we're getting a load in Grimer with things. Through the raids. Let's break that down. What you are voting for is to go ahead and get the Kanto Grimer out in the wild to go ahead and get it in shiny form. Right. During the event in itself, we will be having more Alolan Grimers being available in raids, which that is what's going to increase the shiny rates for it, which is going to be top. It's going to be top. You pretty essentially get okay, two you, types for, for, for one. Would you raid for it? Yes, and here is why. With this, uh, with this event, the community day move of what you're going to go ahead and unlock on Muck is Fire Punch. Fire Punch. This is insane, and here, here's why. Because if you can get Fire Punch, whether it's on regular Muck or the Alolan Muck, it changes the dynamic because now you have something that's definitely going to be hitting hard against the grass types. Against steel types. I mean, and steel types. So you're going to go ahead and be able to check Skarmory quicker. You're going to be able to go ahead and check Venusaur quicker. This is so, going to be great. Yeah, it'll make Muck much more versatile. If it wasn't already. It already is, right? I mean, yeah. it, it, it makes but it come meta. come on, dude. A fire attack. A fire attack on, on it. On yeah. Muck is insane. Yes, it would take a bit longer to go ahead and power up, but it, when, when it hits. When you power up, When yeah. it hits, it hits. Okay, yeah. that, that's what I'm getting at. I, I mean, let's face it. You're going to vote. I'm going to vote. You're going to vote. We're all going to vote. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and quickly cast in our predictions. Coming in at number one is going to be Porygon. Number two. Charmander by huge landslide. I think number one for sure, Charmander. Okay. And number two, Porygon for sure. I'm expecting Charmander in September, my birthday month. Hopefully that happens. Who are you going to vote for? I'm going to vote for Muck though. I am. I am. You're going to get the... Because gonna... in my heart, I want Muck so bad. <laughs> so with that said, squad, we just want to thank you so much for stopping by. Again, don't forget to go ahead and log on to Twitter. If you don't have a Twitter, create a Twitter. Go ahead and follow us on Twitter as well as well as Instagram. And of course, comment down below. Who do you really want? Joe, we know that you want Charmander because you want that Charizard. We get it. But everyone else, let us know in the comments down below. Who you're voting for. Because we're excited wow. for all of them. Isn't it illegal to find out who like voting for who? All right, comment down below <laughs> your predictions then. All right, squad. Well, with that said, we want to thank you so much for dropping by. Pleasure as always. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, smash the notification bell. It's really hot and can't wait to see you on the next Legendary Adventures. Peace. Peace.